Welcome to my channel, All for Health with Jane. Sergeant Mokula of the Senzo Meiwa murder trial, the investigating officer for accused number one, is still on the witness stand. During uh, the cross-examination by uh, Advocate Mgomezulu, Ad Advocate Mgomezulu wants to know about uh, the food. He says, according to accused number one, accused number one claimed that he did not eat. They ate in front of him. The same as accused number two. I remember accused number two when he was traveling with a uh, boss sergeant Mohani to uh, Tabani, Rustenbeck. He also said they did not give him food. They were with him from in the morning until the following morning without giving him anything to eat. And uh, the response by Sergeant Mohola in this case for accused number one, Sergeant Mohola says no, they shared their meal with accused number one. Family, I'm not taking any side here. I want us to educate one another. That's all I'm trying to do. So in the case of food, to be honest, when they uh, fetch this um, accused, they do not give them a chance to eat or do anything. So meaning they need to do something for them. So, but my question is, the food they are giving to the accused as they drive around going to and fro with them, uh, who provides for them? The state, does it give them money to buy this food so that they are able to provide even for the accused person or what? Which is my wish anyway. I wish maybe the state could do that so that they are able to share, to buy even for the accused person. Because sometimes if it's my food that I have prepared for myself only, and then you find that by the time I get the accused person, maybe I've even eaten my lunch by then. So, and then we have to go to and fro with this person. It would be unfair if this person doesn't eat at all. But if maybe the state is providing for that, this is what I want us to talk about. Do they give them money to buy for these people? Remember, accused number two, they traveled with him for more than almost 24 hours. When they estimated the time, it was 17 plus hours. That is 24. That is a full day, 12 uh, 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 for the day, 12 for midnight. It was a full day. So maybe let's talk about it just to educate one another. What happens? Does the state expect me as the investigating officer, as the arresting officer, to provide food for the accused or do they give them something, you know, to augment, something to buy for them? So this is what I want us to talk about. And then maybe let's listen to the clip before we can make some comments. So will you deny the fact that accused number one was sharing food with Constable Butelis at Fort Norris Police Station? Will you deny that? My Lord, I wouldn't deny that, my Lord, because after leaving uh, Vusimuzi Hostel, my Lord, Otembisa, we went to Fort Flores Police Station, my Lord, where, my Lord, we were supposed to meet with the Brigadier, my Lord, as he has requested, my Lord, to question accused number one further, my Lord. And as we were waiting, my Lord, for the Brigadier, we did buy food, my Lord, of which Accused number one, my lord, also was provided with food. Chige umeli uzopiguguti, umangalelo ayana ubegati edan of tenezi. 
ukuthaba kwangeke ngokuphinde ngoba ithema sisuka ethembisa saya efosi lora sathe nga ukudla naye ummangalelo qa wala nokuthelisa all right the reason for putting that question was to confirm if accused number 2 eight on that day because my instruction is that it has it has been vehemently denied by accused number two that he ever ate food on that day my lord uh, the council my lord i don't know because yeah, he's mr. referring to accused number did? one Mr. Gomez, no. you are conflating accused number one and accused number two. I'm, I beg your pardon. It's yeah. just a genuine mistake. Jesus. I'm referring to accused number one. All the time I'm talking about accused number one. You are saying he did not eat? Yes. On the day? At Fosloras. My Lord, we ate with him, my Lord. In Fosloras, we were packed, my Lord. At uh, a parking, my lord, it's it's actually a, an open parking, my lord, between the police station and court. That's where my lord we ate. That's where my lord we wait for Brigadier Geninda. Uti umeli umbanga le lokal ya pibo uti uhiile ko isali tika ko singando se satimo buta ne se se parking e uti ipaga tibo singando ne police station se ya ya se force loras na. Now you went to Eratin with accused number one. Was the escort present also? My lord, uh, we then went to Eratin, my lord. It was Brigadier Kininda, myself, my lord, Sergeant Constable Butelezi. Constable Sadiki, Sergeant Mabena, my lord. What is yes, I erat in the Guimi, who put a Zibu Sadiki, who was the other one? Family, there we are. Uh, let's educate one another, let's help one another to understand such of these things. Some of us have never been in this department. Some of you, you have the knowledge of what is happening in this department. Please, let's help each other. Tell us in the comment section what is actually happening. Because sometimes I'm on a diet. I'm not going to eat anything for a day. Maybe I've had my breakfast and then I feel that I'll have... Sometimes I'm on a fast. I don't eat at all for those days. Then I arrest a person. Do I expect that person to stay without the eating for the whole day? So those are some of the things that I wish we can discuss, talk about them, educate each other, so that at the end we understand what is happening. So that sometimes when we accuse these people to say you didn't give them food, why you didn't do that? Because you are given money for, for to buy them food. And if it's not done, I think the state has to do it. They need to give them food, uh, I mean money, for them to organize food for these people. It has to be compulsory people so that when they are being accused, it doesn't sound like it's being unfair. So either the person must be given a chance. One of the questions must be, have you already had your lunch? Because the, the period that we're going to spend with you, we need to make sure that you are okay when it comes to food. Maybe that question needs to be added to their questions. If in case they are not giving them anything to buy food for these people. And then maybe another thing would be, if it's not included in the questioning, it must be compulsory for them to give them money, provide for these people. Because to be honest, it would be unfair to travel with a person day and night as they did and without giving them food or expecting them to eat what I eat. And sometimes what I eat is too little 
for this person to can have, you know, a share. So it would be unfair. That That's uh, what I'm suggesting that we can discuss um, in the comment section. Please, let's talk about this. And I believe that at the end, justice for Senzo Meiwa, justice for the family of Senzo Meiwa, especially his mom. We are waiting for that moment where they are going to say, ultimately, this is the killer. We're putting him behind bars. Thank you so much, family, for watching this video to the end. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. Like my video before you leave. Family, I love you. Thank you. Bye.